Alright, now in this video I'm going to teach you how to do some screen capture. First thing we want to do is get our program going and once we have the program made we're going to want to first add a button, put that there. Then we want a picture box, put that there and let's make it a little bit bigger. Alright, so you got that, let's go to our code, right click the box, hit view code, paste what I've already made and this code's pretty simple. We're simply defining here uh, a bitmap, which is a 640 by 480 image, and we're defining the graphics file. And what the graphics piece will let us allow to do is to modify the bitmap. You can see right there it references it, and then copy from screen at a point to a point for the size of the bitmap. And then we simply put that captured image into the picture box. So if we run our program as it is right now, hit play and get it going all right so here's our program hit the button one and there we go we've captured the uppermost corner for at point zero zero and we put it at point zero zero for our picture box and our picture box starts about here so now if we want to have more fun with this we could say you know we put this at like 40 40. So now we're now we'll collect the image farther down. So we to actually start about here. So it's 40 pixels away from the top. Now that's cool. Now let's see. We can probably do something like uh, the mouse position, like mouse. Oops, not mouse buttons. Mouse position dot x, and then mouse position dot y. Okay. Oh, now I think about it. If I do this, wherever the mouse is when it clicks the button, it's going to take the image. Yeah, see, it takes the bottom corner of the mouse right there. As I move the mouse around, you can see the button changing. Now, what if I wanted that to be always following the mouse? So what I'll do is I'll close that out, and I want to have this happening over and over and over again. So the best way to do that is to get a timer going. So I'm going to grab a timer from my box here, double-click that, and it's going to end up down here in this... I don't know what you call it, extras box. So I'm going to click that, and now the property is over here for that. So I'm going to go through these, enabled, always want that to be true, interval, 100 milliseconds, that sounds great. So with that, I can double click on this, and it will give me an extra sub for this stuff. So now what I simply want to do is just take the stuff from button 1, cut and paste, I can either leave this or get rid of it. I'll just get rid of the button stuff. And so that now, when I hit play, it will always be, every 100 milliseconds, following my cursor. Now, ah, look at that. That's pretty cool. So as I move my cursor around, ooh, that's neat. It'll follow it around. Having too much fun with this. Okay, hit stop. Now, if you wanted to, say, I want to take this and move it Let's see, location, I'll put this to zero, zero. Enter, and I'll put it in the uppermost corner so we can see exactly where everything's going. Now, that zero, zero here is the zero, zero right there. Now I could shift the image here and have it shift down into my box, but if you wanted to, that's how you could. Not necessary though. So, one more time, hit play. Now we can see that like, the whole form is that now. Now say if I wanted to make my form not have this border around it, that is in here somewhere as as in here as form border style. We got a couple different options here. Uh, let's see, fixed single, that doesn't look anything different, none, so it's just simply a box, a box in space. And we got some other good ones here, like fixed 3D is pretty good if you wanted moving around, fixed dialog, I can go with none, just because that looks like fun. So, make my box a little bit bigger, looks good, so now when I hit play, now I simply have a box with no ability to drag that just copies everything.
That's pretty cool. That makes me happy. There we are. Screen capture. Have fun.